G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and I just want to take you through how we roasted a couple of our own ducks over the Christmas period and had a terrific feed. Mother duck hatched these out herself naturally. Here's the ducklings at only four weeks of age, so they grow really fast. They are Peking ducks, which are known to be really good growers. So I'll show you some old footage and then we'll finish off with the cooking and the roasting of the ducks on the rotisserie. Duckling to plate, let's get started. And here's the, well what was the ducklings, the offspring from these guys, parent ducks. So we've got our breeding stock, the dam's a little bit low at the moment because it's, uh, it just hasn't rained enough during the start of our wet season to fill it up. I might keep one of the females, but essentially they're for food anyway. At least three of them are going to be cooked up over Christmas, which is in a couple of days' time. I've been giving them a high-protein and fattening-up feed. Oh, they call it a, a finishing feed. When you're going to prepare ducks for slaughter, well, the best thing to do is to not stress them out so what I've just done I didn't film it but it's pretty simple to explain is I've just walked calmly towards them I opened up the little door there at the end with a bit of wire you could have a more elaborate setup and a and a proper um, channeling pen set up but I just corralled them really easily let them think that they could escape through that through a hole there and then I've blocked that hole off and crowded them into a small little pen. And now I can go to the other side and just pick them off one by one when it's ready to go and process each one. We come back to the other side of my quail pen where I've had my ducks channeled into this channeling area. You can see them here. It, I, this is just a makeshift channeling area with a little bit of trellising material. This is plastic trellising material, it's nice and strong. And now I can just walk in there and grab one duck at a time, reach over, grab a duck, and then go and process them. And uh, that way I'm not chasing them around with a net trying to catch one individually. I actually have three different methods of dispatch. I have a cone, I've got a neck breaking device, and then I have my trusty old army machete, which on a chopping block is, is my preferred method to use. I have a secure anchor on the other side of the stump and then I've just put a little bit of twine with a loop through it, put that over the duck's head, pull back and the neck stretches out and then I quickly lop the head off. Then it's a matter of processing the duck. The gutting of the duck is pretty easy. You just do a V down the uh, between the legs there and pull out all the innards and then uh, make sure that uh, you get the lungs that are really encased strongly in the rib cage on either side but apart from that it comes out pretty easily. The thing that's difficult with a duck is plucking it by hand takes a long time and I can't wait to get a drum plucker, one of those automatic ones myself, so that I can really cut my time down because that is a really laborious task. Well that's on my wish list and so is a nice new barbecue. There are lots of good ways to roast a couple of ducks. We've put these two together on a rotisserie and wrapped them up with a little bit of cooking twine and put a basting pan underneath them with some water just so that the ducks wouldn't dry out because being a game bird you know they do have a tendency to dry out. Duck can be eaten rare but we cooked ours to poultry and it took about two and a half hours to get it to that stage and the meat turned out perfect. The basting sauce was Asian inspired, a cup of orange juice, squeeze of lemon juice, dash of soya sauce, a few tablespoons of fish sauce, some ginger, coriander and flavoured with a bit of star anise. For about the last 20 or 30 minutes we removed the moisture slash basting pan and dry roasted it just to get that skin nice and crispy and great for serving. I hope you enjoyed the uh, duckling to the plate. We carved that little baby up and it fed four adults and four children and uh, those two ducks were magnificent. If you want more information, just go to our forum, selfsufficientculture.com. Check out the links in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.